Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin recording. And today we've got a new video. Thought we'd show you an updated of our current pedal rig that we got going here. And you know, it's just kind of fun. Um, we'll start with some updates. Uh, we're working on a studio tour, so you get to see kind of all of this space. Um, we tried to put one together today, but realized it's just gonna take way more time than we have time for today. Maybe tomorrow we'll work on it, maybe the coming weeks, but it's coming, so be on the lookout. Um, but today we wanted to start with this guy here. So this guy here is our current pedal board. Um, you've seen this one before. Uh, we did a little video on the Oxbox Stomp. It's their pedal board, or their pedal board. It's not a pedal board, it's a pedal. It's on a pedal board. Um, it's a pedal. Um, you know, we kind of showed you a review of it. Um, it sounds great. We're gonna work on doing on how this pedal sounds um, compared to like a real amp or just how it sounds in general. So. That's gonna be another video to be on the lookout here. We also have a very dusty M9 from uh, Line 6 here, and we'll, we will do a review on this guy. We haven't yet, but we plan on doing some kind of review on how this sounds. Like I said, it's dusty. I didn't realize how dusty it was until now, um, but kind of get a close-up of it there. Um, that's kind of that in a nutshell. Um, not a whole lot on our pedal board. This guy here, this M9, does a lot of our effects, the tremolos, choruses. There does some overdrive, but that's not what we bought it for. We did it to do more of that. It does looping as well. Um, so we'll do more review on like how this sounds and how we use it um, and like the options on it and the different knobs and stuff. But we bought this end to do and we might trade it out eventually for like kind of like maybe the helix stomp or something like that to go in its place but for right now this is what it does this is what we're gonna use it for um we got all the different uh different loopings and choruses delays reverbs all that kind of stuff because none of our amps have that built in um but it does also have the option where going it goes from here into this guy and it gives us the option to have the reverbs from this guy and then just like chorus and delay and you know, weird effects and stuff. And this is more of our like meat potato sound. Like this is the amp, this is the effects and that's kind of how we treat our pedal board. So um, be on the lookout on how we're gonna be using this guy. It is on a pedal train junior. So we got lots of space up here. Right now this is currently where I Velcro all the power supplies because each one of these has to have, has its own because they draw a lot of power. They both draw a ma mass amount of power that I have yet to be able to find um, an accurate brick that will do both of these the way that they need to be done. Um, we have looked at some Voodoo Ranger stuff. Not Voodoo Ranger, that's an alcohol. Um, that's a beer from New Belgium. Voodoo Labs, I had the name wrong. But anyway, some Voodoo Labs bricks that do the extra power and stuff for these that we might try out here in the coming weeks. Um, as we get closer to holidays and maybe even after that. So um, just kind of a quick little video today. Um, we have gotten up to 70 videos, so thanks for that. Um, actually, that's on us, it's not on you. Anyways, um, the nice thing about this pedal board as we kind of get back to it, it's all Velcroed nice and neatly, is that it's light. I can pick this thing up, I can basically haul it off to the, off to the gig, put it on the floor, turn it on and I've got my whole pedal. I don't even take, have to take the amp with this guy. With the aux, I don't have to take my pedal, my amplifiers with me if I don't have to. Um, which there's some venues where that's very handy, where you just, you can't have an amp because it's a small place. And that's what the aux is gonna do for me, along with having the effects from the M9. Um, look out on a video on how these things react together. We're gonna do a, maybe a short on how it sounds like, hey, chorus delay, this whole rig in a setup. So um, my camera's gonna run out of battery. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the likes and subscribes. Don't forget to hit the bell notification for anything new we do. And if you liked this video and liked our other ones, hit subscribe. We'd love to see you guys out there. And thanks for everyone who has done so. We will see you next time. Go make some music.